Hello, welcome back. Uh, I was out here in the shop and I started looking around and it's like, you know, I have a lot of projects I've just been putting off. And uh, right behind me here uh, is one of them, my surface grinder. Central Machinery, 6x12 surface grinder. Yes, you got that right. It is a Harbor Freight surface grinder. They sold them a while back. I think it was about 600 bucks. Uh, I got it on sale. It was a little cheaper than that. But uh, I think I'm going to tear that thing apart. I'm going to have to take that table off of it. The biggest thing about it is it there's a rack and pinion type uh, thing on it where this here going up and back the rack and pinion that surface grinder picks up every gear tooth and puts it on the part I'm trying to grind and here let me show you underneath here there's the rack right there and you really can't see the pinion gear but I'm gonna have to pull that table and what I think is wrong I think that the gear the pinion gear and the rack doesn't really line up. The space is too far. The space is too far. Uh, you know, there has to be a, a certain clearance in there. Uh, and I'm going to have to see if that's correct. Or I'm going to have just pull that and put a, a wire. I've seen them where there's wires hooked on each side of the table and around like a little loop where the pinion gear would go. I'd probably have to make that myself. Uh, and it just flows. It just pulls the table up and back. But we'll see how that goes. I'm Glenn Nowakowski, and you're watching Glenn Now on YouTube. Okay. Ready to start doing this. Uh, I think the first thing that I need to do is remove that uh, mag. It's a permanent mag. I wish it was a fine mag, fine line, but it's not. Uh, after I pull that, I'm going to pull that table and we'll probably place everything on that table right there. Yes. Let's get into that. Okay, got my trusty crush wrench. Believe it or not, I cannot find an 11 16 open end or anything. No 11 16 make different clamps for this too. I really like these. They seem to be pushing instead of clamping. Okay. Not that heavy. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Oh, that's not that bad. down. Now that's two. You got the magnet and the table. Don't look that bad. Okay. I got the table off. Here, look at here. Here's that pinion gear I was talking about. This thing is so the gear just kind of slides up and back, goes up and back over here. But the ways don't look that bad. I will check them with a flat, put some, uh, not dike them, but some bluing on there, if I have any. And, uh, See how flat it is, I'll indicate some surfaces. But uh, let's see how this works. See how it goes. I have to pull that off to, I might have to make a whole new hub over here. This is kind of rinky. Rinky dinky. But anyway, I got it off and Let's start cleaning it up. Well, it looks like the next thing I'm gonna to have to do is get some dimensions. Let's see how this, this rack and pinion is meshing. I'm not too sure if it's too close and that's what's causing the scalloped look on my uh, surface ground pieces. Or, or, the, or it's too far away, the center distances are too far away, and I, it's like clicking across each gear. Uh, but with a measurement and some help from the machinery handbook, uh, I should be able to figure that out. Okay, the only thing I really have to go by is uh, this surface right here, which rides on this surface right here. I can measure probably from this surface to the OD or to the, uh, put a pin in there and measure to the pin. And the same with over here. Go from this here surface and measure to a pin here. Uh, I guess I'll do that. Let's get going on that. Get a measurement from here to here. I have to find the high point. Put a pin in there, find the high point. This is gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna have to get these off of here. Stop that from rolling. I think I'm gonna replace that with a round handle. I don't like these things. I'm gonna do more than that. This thing keeps going up and back. Let's see, that's not the pins there, no gap. And there's about a 30 or 40 thousandths gap there. And it looks like it's got a solid pin in there, so it's not like it can be adjusted. 
put some shims in there, I guess, but like I said before, I may end up getting rid of the uh, rack and pinion gear and get a cable system, a cable hooked on each end of the table that goes in, around, maybe a couple of times and then over the here. I, I know I've seen that on other grinders. I don't know where you would buy something like that. Uh, well, get some pins, clean that off, get some measurements. Dump mic, some pins, that's what I'll get. I have this gear gauge. More gear and manufacturing. They passed this out a long time ago. I don't even know if they're in business still. Uh, but it, it gives a dimension, 16 DP, 14 DP, 12. I'm not sure what that means either. I haven't looked in the uh, machinery handbook, but I want to check what size gear this is and what it looks like to me is this 12 DP. It seems to fit in there just right. No, I was talking about putting a pin in here. You can't do that because this gear, as it goes around, these, this is a, I think it's a helical gear. I have to look that up also. Uh, but the 12 DP seems to fit in here and in the rack really nice. So uh, that's what we're gonna go for. We're gonna find some dimensions on the 12 DP gear. Like I started to say, you really can't put a pin in here to get a dimension. It, I don't know if you can see this, but it rocks up and back. That's because it's, the teeth are on an angle and it comes to its highest point at different times. So it's not like it's a straight gear, straight tooth. We're just gonna take a lot of research. Uh, if you can see that moving up and back. Might have to use a ball. Use a one eighth pin on the rack and a one eighth ball at its highest point. Place it in there and find the highest point. That might work. We'll see. A lot of research. I'll be back as soon as I find all the information. I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> With a little bit of research. I understand what 12 dp, that's dimensional uh, pitch. Uh, I don't have a real clear understanding on what that means, but I looked through my my practical machinist guide, mechanics vest pocket guide, and my machinery's handbook. And this book really told me I neither have the tools to measure the gear or the understanding of gears. Uh, so I'm going to have to find somebody to help me with this. Uh, and until then, you're going to have to hang in there. So until next time, enjoy.